Hey, good morning. Heading back to the Cedar Pavilion backyard build. Got the cedar loaded. This is just a, another delivery. I don't have the 22 foot beams yet that I need. Probably another week or two out before I get those. These are gonna serve as, I have two different types of cedar back there. I have the six by six, 16 footers, and I got four by six, 16 footers. Four by six, 16 footers are gonna, are gonna be for my web webbing for the uh, W pattern that I'm gonna create in the trusses. They're also gonna serve as the corbels in between. They're gonna be the bracing in between the columns and the beams. One of them will serve as part of the ridge beam. Uh, the others that I have coming in <clears throat> are three 22 foot long four by sixes. And I messed up the length on one of those, one of those 22 footers. I would have liked to get it longer than that, but the problem is delivery, cost, it's just more effective to have Two different lengths to make the entire run my goal today at the job site is to set the four columns four cedar columns set the six by six beams across when i get done with home depot i need to stop over at mccoy's and pick up another eight foot six by six cedar i almost forgot about that guy all right change of plans i'm gonna try home depot first i think they have six by six by eight cedar beams we'll see I'll try them first. If I don't have any luck, then I'll go to McCoy's. We are unloaded. Newly purchased Dewalt AM FM Bluetooth. I do splurge on tools, but I did, I've never really splurged on the uh, audio side of tools. Looking forward to using that on the site today. Just have a little extra tunes in the background. We shouldn't have much to cut. I've got my compound miter saw with me today. The compound saw works for the 6x6 and the 4x6, which is the biggest piece of wood that we'll have out here today or any part of this project. Time to get started. Layout's done as far as where the post base are gonna go, the distance that I needed from the wing wall to the first column and to the second column. These columns are gonna get stoned around them, which is about five and a half inches thick. The columns are six inches thick. So when everything's accounted for, we should have the same amount of gap from the stone between these two columns and the stone and that wing wall, which is just around 10 feet and some change. The goal now is to go ahead and drill my holes for the base plates, get these anchored down. Post bases are set, anchored into the concrete. Next thing that I'm gonna do, up on the ladder, run a string from this wing wall behind me to this first column. Okay, we're gonna just set our post temporarily. Post is set temporarily with a set screw in the base. I got my level bungee cord to this side because I just wanna make sure that it's level. We're gonna check to see if it's plumb, not level. This way, I got my string. We're gonna set our string level. Tension on the string, it's looking good. So I'm gonna make my mark. Grab my square, find my mark, scribe my line, make an X on the part of the uh, column that I wanna cut off.
currently the structure is not braced this way. I can hold it plumb to get my marks. Now to get this out of there, I'm going to have to brace both sides of the columns. But I'll do that before I get into the roofing side of it. That is it for today. Man, the sun is in my eyes. Should I go glasses? No glasses. Glasses. Let's go glasses. Beams are set. This is what I wanted to get done today. Get these 6x6 six six beams running them widthwise across the pavilion. The 4x6 22 footers come in. We'll set those and then we can get to work on the roof. 